Hi guys. Um, I know there's no one here, but we're probably going to leave this live off anyway. So you know, let's just put the sound off. More sound on the go. Be careful. <laughs> he can see himself. Okay. Um, hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I know that there isn't anyone on yet, but um, we just thought we'd come live and just do a little update on how we're doing. Um, we have filmed a four-week update, but we all know how rubbish Rachel is at editing, and we all know that Rachel's going to take a very long time to edit it, so I just thought I'd actually come on and let you know how he's doing. It's not taking the dummy. So if you're here, come say hi. How are you doing? Um, first things first is we hope you had a good new year. Um, did we have a happy new year? Did we have a good Christmas? Um, I hope so. Uh, it was very different for us. We um, normally... I was at home. Yeah, he was at home. Uh, normally we go away um, and we they sit on a table like a big boy. He's like, nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, normally we go away, but obviously this year, COVID, we didn't. So um, I know it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Look at him. Hang on. You can say hello. I think he was only here a few days. And you can like, say what, hello. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hello. He's probably going to throw up all over everybody now. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, he's absolutely huge. He is so big. We can't get him weighed because they're not weighing the babies at the moment. Um, unless there's a problem, they're just not weighing them. So we, we can't get him weighed or anything. Um, but he is he is massive. He's, he's out of the... Um, Tiny baby, mm. and he's well yeah, into the, yeah. He's, he's well into the newborn, but pretty much on his way out of newborn now, and um, going into not to three months. Oh, oh thank you. Sir. Thank you. What are you looking at? Um, but he's just. Oh. He's looking at your ghosty thing. Yeah. Is that loud? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? So yeah, he's he's doing really well. Um, how is he doing? Right, so let's start from the top. How, How is, he, is doing? he doing? How are you doing, Noah? How do you feel, huh? How do you feel? That I feel grumpy. You feel grumpy? Do you feel good? Huh? He's watching Dad play Fortnite. Yeah. So he's, he's doing really well. He um, He's taking quite a lot of milk. Um, we suspect he has a milk allergy. And the reason we suspect that uh, is, um, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You tell them. Uh, Go on, then you tell them. Uh, yeah. Oh, what happened <laughs> next? What happened after know. that? What happened after that? Huh? Yeah. Do you not know what happened after that? Do you not know? Okay. <laughs> um. So he's taking a lot of milk. <clears throat> um. He is. Um. Once it's hitting his stomach, he's kind of vomiting quite a lot. So yeah. we suspect that he might be allergic to the milk. He also, on his chin here, um, you can't see it very well because we've got lights on, but on his chin here, there's quite a lot of um, rash. And we think that it, it could be the milk that's doing it. So um, we, the midwife is coming tomorrow and... So Olivia will speak to yeah tomorrow. So Olivia will speak to the midwife tomorrow, and if we, if she doesn't end up coming tomorrow, um, then she'll speak to the doctor. Um, but we suspect it could be mm. milk that's the issue. Um, because my friend's baby had the same symptoms. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, the only difference is that Noah is still piling the weight on like crazy. Yeah. So he's he's putting a lot of weight on, but he's just he's vomiting a lot. But then we're um, feeding him more because he's vomiting more. Yeah. Some of it's staying in. Yeah. So, 
that's um, that's what's going on with that. Uh, we will speak to the doctor tomorrow, and um, if not the doctor, the midwife, and see if it is a milk allergy or or what it is. Um, but to be honest, Olivia Ann was allergic when she was a baby anyway, so it's completely possible. That, you know, um, you wasn't allergic; you was just intolerant. Yeah. So you know, um, but he does get a lot of tummy aches. I hope um, you guys figure it out. Sounds horrible. Oh, it's, it is. It's awful when he's when he's like crying because he's got tummy ache and he's like yeah. lifting his legs up and, and I can't um, help it. inconsolable. It's just like what's going on, and he's and he's such a sweet little quiet boy as well. So it's yeah. like what's when he starts on it, and you're like, well, what is oh, it? It that's was like happening? the other night. He was up every hour on the hour. Mm. It was horrible sleep. And then as soon as we went downstairs, and Mum was like, "Oh, you go off to bed for an hour." It was fine. Are you a trumpy boy? Are you a trumpy boy? Huh? Yeah, he does that a lot. He trumps a lot as well. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on with that, with the milk. Um, but we'll have that looked at tomorrow. Um, he also has a scan for his bowel. Um, if you guys remember when Olivia was pregnant, there was an issue with his bowel and he, they thought that he might need surgery when he was born. Um, well, he actually didn't need that surgery. Um, however... They are I'm having to. There so many baby doctors in the room. That was so off my head. I just didn't. Yeah, know. there are so many of them. Um, but what they are doing is keeping a very close eye on it. So he's to go for these scans. Um, he's got one next week. Uh, well, it's actually the week. Anyway, he's he's got one, and um, once that scan's done, we'll, we'll know more at that point. Um, but again, he's gaining weight, he's developing, he's doing what he needs to do. So we're not anticipating any problems or anything. Um, it's just more of a keep an eye on it. Mm. So that's that. Um, what else? Mm. Development. He's a very smiley boy. Mm. Um, he hits apart from right now, where he's a little bit of a grumpy boy, but that's because he's tired. Aren't you, baby? And he's just had a few he's also not holding his own head there. I've got him here. He's like, "What? Get off me!" Uh huh. He's like, "Get off me!" Like, "Get off he me!" He can hold his head. He can hold his head off. He's, he's just, just choosing, choosing not to. Um. So he's oh, sorry. Um. But he's managing to hold his own head up. Um. He is. Can you see where this rash is around his chin? That's where the um. The oh, it's stretchy boy. That's because he's like constantly being sick. So he's um nom 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 Is that that is that is that how it is, is it? Huh? Is that how it is? Yeah. So he's um developmentally he's starting to smile a little bit. Um and he can tell who's got him as well. Oh, <laughs> And everybody's bowel has two chambers. Um, and the only way to, do, to describe it in a nice way is you have an entrance and you have an exit. Mm. So a bit where the food goes in and a bit where poop comes out. Um, one of those two chambers, we don't know which one, was enlarged. And they said dilated. Not it was, uh, yeah, sorry, dilated, which means it's almost as if you're constantly yeah. having a poo, effectively. Yeah. Um, and so. The scan results got sent off to the specialist and things like that. And um, there was a lot of hoo-ha. There was a lot of, well, he needs surgery when he's born. Mm. Um, at one point, they weren't sure if his insides would be on the outside. Um, at one point, there were so many different things. Yeah. But... Um, Very stressful. They told me, if they were like, they never told me that something wasn't there. It was always, oh, yeah, his bowels are outside his body. No, maybe or anything. It was always, yeah, they're outside his body. That's why on some of the videos we're like, yeah, they definitely are. Yeah. So we, we we expected him to be born with his bowels on the outside. We expected him to be born a very poorly boy. Um in fact, a massive sneakers and everything. <laughs> and actually in reality he wasn't. He was he was okay. So he does he is having some bowel issues. Yeah. Um and he, he is having some issues with going to the toilet and things like that. But <sighs> It is completely possible that it could be, with this problem is obviously having with the milk, it could be that that's causing the mm. bowel problem and that the bowel problem is not as bad as they thought it was originally to start with. So we're not entirely sure, yeah. but um, 
that's the the idea as it is. So anyway, he has a scan to go and see how that's doing. Um, but he is he's getting doing little smiles now. Mm. Um, he's good at knowing who I'm just like, oh. <laughs> um, and he's a Trumpy boy. Um, he's good at knowing who he wants to go to. He's starting to grab things. He's got a little Peppa Pig toy. Um, it's like a little tacky yeah. blanket. It's downstairs. Thing. It's like downstairs. It's, got a, it's like a little blanket with a Peppa Pig on it. Oh, he threw it in the suit Oh, did he? Yeah. He threw it. Okay. In the suit um, He grabs her by the neck and he can now pick her up. Um, so he's, he's good at that. Um, also, just because of how little skin there is there, you can see, you know, the air way bit, he grabs that as well. Mm. So randomly, they'll just hear me go, <laughs> and yeah. he just looks at me like, how I did that? So yeah, he's um, but he's getting there. He's he's doing good. He's really doing good. Yeah. For, you know, he's four weeks old. Um, obviously we're we're in well, we're not in lockdown again. We're in. Oh, yeah, Looks we're like we're going into lockdown. Um, but he's he's doing good. Oh, he's, he's showing, his, his showing you his feet. Apparently, <laughs> are, you, are you showing everyone your feet? So what you're doing? You're sticking your feet up in the camera. <laughs> so what you're doing? Who's the baby? He doesn't like it when the baby has a dummy. Oh, he's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. Oh. <laughs> and he does the whole, I'm going to sleep now so he can stop talking to me. Yeah. He does that a lot. Um, But yeah, so he's, he's doing he's really massive. good. He is really big. I think that's how big he was. So that's why he, was. <laughs> he is really big. He's, he's really growing. Mm. Um, But yeah, so we just thought we'd come on and just kind of say, yeah. this, this is how he's doing. Um. I think for him that's everything really. Yeah. It? His skin um okay. he seems to have a bit yeah. of, quite a bit of eczema. So we're having to deal with that because um, he's got quite a lot of dry skin like on his face, um, things like that. Um but other than that, that's it for Noah oh, he's really. Hair. Oh yeah, his hair. He's um let me just sit you down a minute, Baba Bo. A baby boy. Got him he wanted mum. He's um so much hair now. Um, so that's a good question. So now we get into that bit because I was just going to ask her that. How are you? Uh, I think I'm all right. I'm okay. getting there. Okay. Yeah. Getting there. Um, my, like physically, my actual scars, the top layer is healed and everything. It's still quite sore, but I'm off my medication now, so... It's to be expected a little bit. Mm. Um, I'm managing to walk around a lot now and pick him up because I couldn't do that for a few days. Mm. I stuck to the couch for a few days as well, annoying. <laughs> what about emotionally? How are you um, emotionally? Emotionally, just be honest. Know, yeah, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like not sad, but not okay, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So she's having a hard time emotionally. Yeah. She's um, getting stressed a lot. <laughs> struggling a little bit emotionally. Um, do you want to go and get him some more milk? Yes. <laughs> your mummy's getting you some milk. Uh huh. Your mummy's going to get you some milk. Um, so, yeah, she's having a hard time emotionally. She's struggling to um, kind of cope with everything. And, but she, she, it's not that she can't cope, she can cope. Um, it's She's just. And a little bit, um, I don't know, she, she baby blues a little bit. So, but other than that, she's absolutely fine. I'm so proud of how she's doing. She's really, really coping with it well. She's taking care of him well. She's doing everything that she needs to be doing for him. And, oh, and he's thriving. Uh, oh, bless you. That's lovely. I'll get her to read that when she comes back. She's just going to get him some milk. Um, but I'll definitely get her to read that when she comes back. She's she's really, really doing well. And, and you know, for her to read something like that, for her to read, I know you've got this, is exactly what is exactly what she needs. It's just to say, you know, I know you've got this. You're going to do great. And also, because of, like, lockdown and things like that, she hasn't had the opportunity to kind of go and, you know, like when you have a new baby. Oh, good boy, you're burping. Good boy. 
when you have a new baby and stuff and you're going to show them off and stuff like that she just hasn't had an opportunity to do that so it's been really hard for her in that way um and it, it's not so much the baby blues that's getting her it's the it's the covid that's, that's doing it the, the lack of human interaction that's, that's doing it for her um but she will be fine she's getting there she's doing great she's amazing she is amazing absolutely amazing i i can't believe how fantastically she's doing really really fun um so tash is saying uh she said i know you've got this you're doing amazing considering how young you are yeah i'm really proud of how well you're doing oh. um and then um i said about like it's not so much baby blues it's more lockdown blues yeah um and she said oh she's an amazing girl i've no doubt she can do it even in these horrible times oh. She's so lovely. And I was saying that's exactly what you need to hear. You know, it's it's to be told you're doing all right. Yeah, it's exactly. And the thing is, people don't tell you stuff when you're pregnant. So, for example, it can take a long time to bond with your baby. And although I explained that to Olivia, people didn't. People oh. don't tell people that that they're like, oh, it's instant and oh, this happens and it's like magic and it's unicorns yeah. and rainbows, and it's like, well, actually, no, it isn't. You know, especially when you have a baby in the middle of a pandemic, it's actually about you getting your baby out. You want to get out of the hospital as soon as possible because you know that COVID's yeah. there, and it's it, it's really when I mean, you can't remember half your hospital stay because they gave you too much, <laughs> and it's really difficult. And you are stretchy, boy. Look how big he is. Um, so it's it's more about COVID than it is about yeah. kind of baby kind of thing. Do you want to um... I know, but I'm going to give you <laughs> to your some mummy. I'm going to give you to your mummy for some milk. Yeah. Do you want some milk? So, so yeah, she's doing great. He's doing great. Things are getting there. Um, I know that we're in tier four and it's even harder now yeah. <clears throat> to be able to get out and do anything or anything like that. Um, so one thing I have been doing. So sorry. That's so rude. I'm so sorry. But one thing I, I have been doing is every couple of days taking her out on her own. Funny face. Just to... Um, Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you oh. so much. That, that really, honestly, means so, so much. Yeah. And what I will say is, before I say about taking you out of things, um, something that's massively, massively, but not just Olivia, but me and Noah and the rest of the family as well, like the younger kids, something that's really massively got us through this is knowing that there's people that are on the internet, on um, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, things like that, um, Instagram, even Snapchat. But yeah. knowing that there's people there that will just sit and have a chit-chat with you has been the oh. biggest, biggest lifesaver mm. for us because it's it's been hard. And let's not forget, it's not just about, oh, olivia Ann's had a baby. It's about, olivia Ann's had a baby and she lives in a household with two sick parents, one of which has a very, very low kidney function. Um, you know, she lives in a household with two sick parents, one of which are a low kidney function, mm. plus siblings, plus we're in the middle of a pandemic. All of these things on top of each other are things that really, really, on their own are big things. Yeah. So to have them all together is more, it's, it's just piling more and more on. So to know that there's people out there that have been chatting to us and people that have um, sent us messages, the messages we've had, we, so people even like commenting on videos, but um, everything it is just so much. Um, somebody sent a message just to say, I just want you to know you're doing a good job. And it's like that is amazing yeah. to us because it's it helps us so much. Um, I watched every single video about the little guy and the journey. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, love you, Tara. <laughs> um, but it's it's just 
it's it has it's it's been a massive massive help to us to know that there's there's people that we can talk to and stuff because it's hard you know it, it is hard um good and and i hope i really really hope that everybody knows it works both ways you know if any of you need a chat <laughs> I promise not to yawn at you every five minutes, but just come on to like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube message or whatever and, and just say, have you got five minutes to talk? You know, it's so much. Um, oh yeah, we're doing okay. Um, everybody's coping okay at the moment. Um, so Lauren's not here full time. She's at, at my mum's some of the time because she's got college um, and work. So it's not safe for her to do those things and to be at home at the same time. Fingers so out the eye. get your things out your eye, Mister Man. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not safe for her to be at work and at college and at home. So she's during the week staying at my mum's, um, and then most weekends when she doesn't have work to do, she's at home. Um, so that's been quite hard to to kind of not have her here, but at the same time. Um, she's she's doing okay. She's she's coping well on her own. Like on her own. She's doing all right. She knows where we are. Um, Lily's doing okay. She's um, not in school because obviously COVID. Um, we aren't having it back. And now. yeah, she she's getting there. I love That's another thing he does with his milk. He would spit it out. He's only had two sure. ounce and a half. Yeah. He's spitting it out. Isla's up and down. Um, I've had in her room today. Yeah, today she's been in her room a lot, kind of playing around with Roblox and things like that. Um, tomorrow she might be jumping around doing filming and stuff like that. So she, she's all right, but she's up and down. But she's only eight years old, and this is a massive global pandemic. You've got a new baby. You've got poorly parents. You've got Lauren not being here full time. There's so much, and... You know, it's going so to affect us. She doesn't well. understand that concept of Lauren not being here. Yeah, so she it's, it's um, she's doing okay. She, she's really doing okay. Um, and I've just been taking my mind off it by doing little adventures. So I went to the train track mm, and did that adventure. Fun. That was so fun. And now I found out that there's a train there as well. So I'm like, I'm going there again. So we we're kind of we're muddling along. We're muddling along, and we are we get in there. Um, we're hanging there. We're coping. New dum -dum. Um, How many new dummies have you got in my room, Mister? I have collections. <laughs> but yeah, we we're coping well. We're we're doing all right. Um, I'm I'm so so proud of how well everybody's doing. Everybody's coping really well, and I'm I'm really really proud of how they're doing it, uh, yeah. and that's across the board as well. It's not just us; it's it's everybody. Um, I'll oh, thank you, and you too as well. You know, Excuse I know me. times are hard on you, and we all need to stick together. End yes, of the yes. day, this is happening to all of us, and we all need to stick together. We all need to um, human. Absolutely, yeah. you know, and, and just do do what we can. Um, but dad's it, it do, does work. Dad, but Dad's doing all right. He's on isolation now. He's not that far. He's on um, shielding. Yeah, got yeah. grounded him. Decided to be yeah. naughty. Bojo grounded him. He was like, "You're naughty. You're grounded." So Boris, Boris grounded him. Um, Are you grounded? Huh, baby boy? No, I'm not. I'm a good boy. Um, so yeah, it's Boris grounded him, so he's doing all right. Um, but his sleep pattern's really bad at the moment. Yeah, he's yeah, like it doesn't fall asleep till four a.m. Yeah, he wakes. Up, he's still up when I come down from like ten bottles yeah. after we finish sleep. Yeah, he's his sleeping pattern's crazy, but he's doing okay. Um, but this is not about us moaning. This is just. Oh, did you? You should said hi. That was probably Dave and Lily. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Tash saw some of us in in her bargains. Mm -hmm. 
got some of us in home bargaining for tier four. She just come and said hi. I haven't seen you for ages. Mm. Um, yeah, we, we're doing all right. We're staying there. We're, we're getting there. We're doing okay. And just remember, it works both ways. You know, we, we, we're here for you as much as you guys are here yeah. for us. Um, but, yeah. That's that, really. So I'm just going to quickly go for a wee-wee, which also wee-wee. reads as I'm going for a fag. And um, Olivia, I'm going to show you some cuteness and chat away by herself. Five minutes. Yeah. out. He did just have a bottle, but if you can use it, but... You can tell more about my cool filming room if you want. I've got his head, don't worry. Oh, he's got such a grip on me. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're in trouble oh, now. Way right back. I'm oh, sorry. I think now. Here you go. At all. Okay. At You're all. You're in the trouble. At all. Oh, okay. Tragically. Oh, no. Where is it? We disappeared, yes. we've died. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, yeah. We probably shouldn't say we disappeared, we've died. The laptop's died. Yeah. We'll have to get the charger. I didn't think that bit through. Uh, we're just going to grab the charger, so it'll be really quick. We told him what you're doing. I didn't hear it. Oh, fair point. Yeah, so he's doing fine. Thank you. <laughs> no, still not mature. <laughs> not capable of that. My child at heart. Saw that. Yeah, you. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. There. Doesn't want it. <laughs> Go and say hi. Sit at your own table. I think they know can see you. Uh, we. I don't think we have a plug. Oh. We don't have a plug. Just unplug something else. Yeah, plug over here. Uh, yeah, you can't get someone. Just unplug that. The black one. What is it? Okay. The battery charger. Hello. Hello. On the table. You know it. There you go. That's what Mark. Is that? Is that him? Are you peeping at me? <gasps> uh. Oh, it's Auntie Lily. Is it adorable though, apparently? Yes. Oh, sorry. Oops. Oh, well. You sit on your jumper, you sausage roll. I'm sharing. You sausage roll. I can't have it back now. Bomb. So funny. I don't think we have a new one. We have a new one. says no. Be screwed. I'll say I'm screwed now. Spat my dummy on the floor. Hey. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> uh yeah, for the first or even still now, it's hard to get into a routine with him. Mainly because one is routine keeps changing. And two, I'm just not a routine person. Well, you spat it on the floor, so there's no point looking for it. <laughs> Alright, you talk to Lily so I'll find a new dummy. Sit there and talk about nonsense. I'm here now. She's looking for a dummy. Um, Mom's smoking. Yeah, one of two. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> I'm alright, thanks. How are you? 
very bright in here. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, not much going on. Everyone's gone, I don't know. Everyone ran away. Did you find one? Huh? Did you find one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, um. I could be right with them. Um, I don't think it's very hard. It's just. Hi, Lily. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hi, time to Lily. Hello. I am. I am. Where's my phone? I, I can hear rattling. Rattle. I heard rattling and I thought it was here. That's it, really sad. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> Mum. Mum. He's on uh, my head. Oh. <laughs> Definitely. So I've never been high in my life. I'm just checking out how we're not inspired. Mm -hmm. yeah, my glasses are reflecting too much. Let me just sit up. There we go. Is it a dance? And then? <laughs> Da, 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 da. I'm just typing. I was putting Noah's Instagram on. Oh, oh yeah, Noah has Instagram. Yeah, Noah has Instagram. Um, and he got a brand deal. He's only had Instagram for a day. He's talk about the brand deal. I don't. Why am I so centered? <laughs> oh, we can hear that. Yeah. Are we gonna? Okay, well, what is this? I'm gonna start reading like. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go to do it. Oh, is it echoed or no? Yeah, dispose of the base. I'm going go to base. sleep now. That's really far back. Oh no. That's yes, me. Right. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. So, well, you only came on really to tell yeah. me how Noah's doing, how you're doing. Um, more of a hi to sleep. Oh, I know how to get him to sleep. It was more of a hi, how's it yeah. going doing? Um, how are you doing, Tash? Or anyone that's on? I don't think we've asked you that. Everyone want to know how you're doing. Are you gonna see his head? Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi. Don't know who Holly is. Okay, uh, my friend. Okay. Go hold him a sec while I'll get you. Yeah, yeah just pass him to Holly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you put him the other way. Oh, I can't see his face. Oh, my God, really? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, so I need a yeah. I need a yeah. I'm gonna sit where Lily's sitting in a second. I actually, I'm going to. Um, you don't look very happy with me. Right. You're not very happy with me. Right, can I sit there? Because I'm just going to yeah. talk to the girlies and I find out about Tash. What have I ever done to you? I never knew you were online. Never mind. So you moved out recently, huh? Oh, Tash needs to tell me all about this. Yes. Um, mm. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go and put no one. Oh, but oh, she's gonna go and sort, sort him out. No, Lily's got him. Um, sort his bed out. So Tash moved out recently. Are you still at um, McDonald's? Yeah. 
Go around that way. Just sit on it and then go that way. So you're still at McDonald's, Tash, or you, have you moved on from there? Also, I found out that the um, Explorer did with the trains, the train tracks the other day. There's a train there as well. Oh, bless you. Well, you know where we are, if you need anything, you know, absolutely know where we are. Oh, I forgot to say, Kyla. Um, yeah, if you need anything, you absolutely know where we are, you know, we are here. Do come say hi. Um, Lauren's not here, she's at my mum's, but you're still welcome to come and, if you need anything or whatever, come and say hi. Um... Very nice you're still Tasha, my G. You still need to meet Noah yet as well. So, you know. Um, but yeah, so I went to this, I went to the train tracks the other day. I wanted to say I love your videos. I hope you're staying safe. You deserve so much. Sis. You could. Oh, hi, Bella. Of course I can. Yeah, I'd love to do some more makeup videos. The only reason I stopped doing makeup videos was I thought that um, people wouldn't be very interested, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I'll do. So. I'll, um, I'll film one tomorrow. When I do my makeup, I'll film one. Um, and, yeah, I would absolutely love to do some more makeup videos. I love doing makeup. Um, so the plan, actually, it brings me on to something really quite helpful. So the plan is with the channel at the moment. Um, I need to pick up the vlogs more because I know that it, we haven't really been doing as much as we could. But the, the issue has been because we're in tier four, we haven't really been able to do anything. So um, the only time we've been, really been able to vlog is when we've been going out and doing stuff. So we've not done as much vlogging as I really would like to. However, um, we are stepping that up more and doing more vlogs on here um i would definitely add some makeup videos into that because i i love filming makeup videos so i will definitely definitely do some more of those and i know that olivia enjoys um you like doing makeup stuff don't yeah. you so um olivia will do some makeup ones and lily enjoys doing them as well so we'll definitely add some more of those in um we want to add some more teen mom stuff in but um to be honest, there hasn't been anything going on. So the only thing we'd be showing you is just us doing nothing. So the kind of um haven't really want to be uh... Yeah. I'm doing that. Say hi, honey. Say hi, honey. And um, Bella's here too. Say hi to Bella. Hi. Um so, methods of texting, yes, uh, I want to do some more of those. Um, it's now that it's it's not as bad weather wise, we can do a little bit more of that as well. The makeup videos, I will definitely do more of, and the vlogs, I will pick up. Um, my favorite makeup brand, no, your favorite makeup brand might still be so. Um, at the moment, um. Oh, I love Revolution, to be honest with you. I love Revolution. I think it's affordable. I think it's good, good stuff. And it doesn't harm your skin. So a lot of the makeup brands that I've tried are, they're really good, but it's just been, um, my skin's been affected. I have a lot of, um, I have something called rosacea and I get a lot of redness here. In fact, if I, if I get rid of the thing like you'll see the redness on my face um <clears throat> so i have a lot of rosacea and a lot of makeup brands i've found are, are not good for people that have rosacea so the only brands that i've found that are really good for that at the moment are revolution i love love the um the soap palette that, that they have um and i've absolutely hit pan on that 
on almost every colour. Love the sofa palette. That's um, nice, um, don't overdo yourself, and Rachel. Uh, please do just whatever makes you guys happy. Filming makes us happy. It's just that we don't want to bore you guys. Um, but filming makes us happy. Um, but Revolution, I love Revolution. Um, I like the Beauty Bay stuff, the stuff that they do on Beauty mm -hmm. Bay, like their own one. I, I really like that. Um, Lily likes W7, don't you? You like that. Um, I did love Jerry Star. Uh, makeup, but I can't buy it because, I still like because his makeup. I don't like him. I can't buy it because he's a knobhead. But it's secondhand. I, I just can't. I can't support him as a, as a brand. So, um, I love the body shop stuff. Um, only certain stuff from body shop I love, but I, I do love the body shop stuff. I love their foundation. I love their um, BB creams. I love those and the eye sticks as well. I really like those. Um, I said, um, I'm not that into makeup. That, I'm not into makeup that much. I'm more into skincare girl. Isn't Holly doing makeup yeah. at college? Hair and beauty. I think that if Holly shows me how to do skincare, I would be a very happy lady. What? You just like out. I really, I really like it. It makes me feel good about myself. Um, I have feel clean. Well, it, it's not that it makes me feel clean. Showers make me feel clean. It makes, I, it makes me feel good about myself. I have a lot of self esteem issues, especially because um, obviously all of you know, apart from probably Bella, um, but I, I have massive, massive self esteem issues, um, especially since getting elected. Um, um, Yes, yeah, it's, it's just on one side. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, my um, my self esteem is like through the floor. So when I wear makeup, it's like it makes me feel like a, a good person, like a, a better person, not a better person. But it makes me feel more confident. Um, was, move your hand out of the way. Sorry, I was reading. She said, "Hi, you look very well, and I hope you're staying safe." Yeah, I love re uh, love Revolution. Love the concealer from there. It's really good when I'm thinking about Oh, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. That's, that's the one. Can you get me the Maybelline out of that box? Because the Maybelline Fit Me... Um, just pass me the box. The, would I recommend any drugstore foundations? Um, to be honest, the pound store one isn't that bad. Actually, drugstore... Let me just check if this is the same one I'm thinking. Because, yeah. The Maybelline Fit Me is really good. Really, really good stuff. I think I've done about five bottles of this. I love this stuff. But what I found really works. Oh, thank you, Holly. I wish I felt like oh. that, but thank you. Um, what I found works really, really good is the Maybelline Fit Me with Shop. Um, this is just a pressed, this is Face Base by Body Shop. Um, and if you have the Maybelline and that together, it works like magic. It's really good. It, this is almost as good as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. If you put two the two of these together. Now I'm quite menopausal, quite menopausal, I'm a lot menopausal, and um so I have a lot of hot flushes and this doesn't fall off my face. Um the other drugstore foundation, I don't know if you can one. The um seven, it's glow time one. It's really good. Um it's really hard to find because um beauty outlet is where you can buy it but you can't mm. buy it online you have to go into the shop the it's other one really good one the yeah. other one that's good is the sleek the sleek one's really good it's a little bit more expensive than the maybelline fit me i think this is 9.99 um but this is like you, you need you need pure mental chemicals to get this off this is crazy stuff it's really good um and the only other one that I use, 
I've got some downstairs to test that I haven't actually tested yet. The only other one that I will use is the Milani Concealer. Um, concealer. Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, that's a lot more expensive, but if you use the, the Maybelline Fit Me and the Body Shop together, they are definitely my favourite combination all day long. I have um, more makeup in that one. But, yeah, I'll definitely... What I'll do, uh, Bella, is I've, I have some drugstore foundations downstairs that are waiting to be tested. Um, I bought them in, like, sales and things like that, and I haven't actually done a video of trying out different foundations. So what I'll do is the next one I do, I will do it as a testing out different foundations one. Oh, um, the lashes, yeah. oh brilliant. Thanks, Holly. I love I love them. They're the um, Never. Unicorn Cosmetics. Un Unicorn Cosmetics lashes. I love them. They are huge. They're over the top, and they hide all manner of sins when you make a mess of your eyeshadow. They're like they're crazy. I love them. Um, but yeah, I'll do a testing the different foundations as my next. If I told it tomorrow. I'll film it tomorrow, and so it will be uploaded the one like after the I next one. So the next upload that I do is um, we've just filmed Noah's one-month update, and the one after that I will do, I will upload the testing foundations. And then after that, I'm going on a search for a train. I know that sounds really stupid, but I am going on a hunt for a train. Um but let me tell you the plan. The plan for the, the channel for the next um the, the next six months for the for the channel, what I want to do is I want to step up the vlogs because I really like filming them. I really, really want to film them, but I kind of feel like the content's been a bit stale because it's been there's not been a lot going on. Or well, there's been so much going on that I don't want to kind of overdo everybody. I know. It's so, so quick. He was a month old on Friday. It's just crazy. Um, Olivia's bragging that Noah got brand new today. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do the stepping up the vlogs. I'm going to do, I'll do some makeup ones and I'm going to do some exploring ones. Now, the exploring ones, um, I was going to do different, put that on a different channel. And um, I've got like true crime ones that I've been researching that I'm also going to put on a different channel. But um, this will be the the bulk of it's on here. It's just that a lot of it will just be linked to the other channel because I don't want to bore you all. Um, the brand deal was I can't even remember the name of the company now, but she was she's so she's been looking at this company for buying stuff for Noah, and it's got they've got like jewelry and stuff like that for grown ups as well, and. Um, they loved his Instagram and they're going to, they gave her a discount and they said that, uh, so she said, Oh yeah, great. Thanks for the discount. But um, can I have a discount for the people that watch my videos? And they was like, yeah, yeah, of course you can. So they've given her a discount for, so anybody who watches the videos and buys anything through their website, um, they get a discount and then Olivianne will get, she doesn't get commission, she'll get a discount on products that she buys. So instead of buying them at full price, she might get like 20% off or something. Um, do, like depending on how many people buy stuff from there. So she's not going to push the code, but she is going to say, oh, here's what I've got. And if you want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, don't. Um, but we're waiting for some stuff to arrive first to, just to check the quality before um checking out any other like before saying oh here's the here's the code because it might be crap so we want to check it first um he is going to be really spoiled he is he's, like... he's definitely a spoiled boy he needs a jump room next that's the next item um so i've been <coughs> going live on tiktok and stuff and if anybody's been sending stickers um i'm saving up for a jump room for him um, so I've got a notification call. Uh, thank you so much. Lovely to make even though I'm rubbish at it. Uh, also, no, so well, yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent, Bella. And I think that's the point I was trying to get across because my brain's not working very well today. I've got fibro fog really bad. 
I think that's the point I was trying to get across with. Um, I'm not great at putting makeup on, but I love doing it and I love the process of doing it. And I love that it's just a me for that half an hour. So, um, yeah, I will definitely, definitely do some more videos and I will do the um, comparing the foundations and things. And But also, I... In the sales, in the run-up to Christmas, did pick up some extra palettes that um, I was going to do a bit of a giveaway. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it yet because I only have 126 subscribers, so I don't really want to push it and make it look like I'm like going, oh, yeah, mate, I need more people. Because, yeah, we all know I need more people, but I, do. I don't want it to look like I'm like trying to buy subscribers kind of thing. So I'm not sure how to do it. But I am going to work it out. So, oh, you got a like. That was me. I liked it. Oh. <laughs> beauty Outlet's amazing. I love Beauty Outlet. Um, absolutely love that shop. Seriously, I, I could have to buy a new house. I liked it. <laughs> oh, I liked it too. So that would be worth a second. Um, yeah, I love Beauty Outlet. Um, and also have a look on Superdrop because they've got a massive sale on at the moment and they've got some really good sale stuff so you'll get some nice palettes yeah. in there cheap um, mm -hmm. Beauty Bear Beauty Bear have got a sale on as well yeah I don't know if it's still on but I do as well Holly absolutely love them in there and the um, nail varnishes I love the nail varnishes in there I've got like I think I bought the same one about five times because I'm like, like oh I really like that colour I really like that colour and just ended up buying the same one. You like the eyeliners in there. Yeah. So Lily's got glittery eyeliners. Take the glasses, lift the glasses up. Lily's got glittery eyes today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the glitter. She loves glittery eyeliners. She she's, buys them in there. Um, I like all sorts from there. I like the hair from there as well. I buy a lot of hair in there. What else do I buy in there? It's the nail varnishes. I buy the nail varnishes and I buy the same colour over and over and over. I like this off tan, but I haven't done it yet. Yeah, because I lost it. <laughs> the hair dye is not the best. No, it's not the best hair dye. <laughs> I want to try the bleach from there because I need to get my hair cut short. Mm -hmm. you yeah, prob you probably need uh, to, to get. Mm -hmm. It's getting freshly need... done, but I can't mm -hmm. spend any money on it. I need a haircut so bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to get mum to cut my hair because it needs to be cut relatively soon because he keeps grabbing it in and it really hurts. And plus it keeps getting matted just because of how curly it is. Um, and then after that, I'm going to bleach it because I want to be blonde, but I don't want to pay the money for it. <laughs> yeah, I need a haircut so bad. I'm going to I'm gonna have to sort that out because I'm having to like put it in a bun. Uh, but I do really want to get it. But I really want to get it so it's like... Um, like feathered around my face but the problem is because again I'm menopausal I'm like I keep having to pull it back off my face because I'm too hot so I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna do something with it I, um, I was waiting for college to open again and I was gonna make an appointment because I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to pay full price That's a good point, actually. yeah because I'm, yeah, I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to pay full price so I'm like oh is it Holly do you know how to bleach hair I can't even hear you. What are you doing, yes. Mr. Man? He was going to sleep. But Holly says, I, I want to start doing nails at college to see where it goes from there. But now I want to get uh, a job at someone. Yeah. Try um, Jasmine's. They're always taking on there. Um, hi. Gypsy said hi. Hi, Gypsy. And thank you for your tip about the train. We're definitely going back there. Um, we're going to go and do a ghost hunt. Yeah. We're going to go and do a ghost hunt there. Um, he's all right. He's in his bounce at the moment. He could probably come out if I'm in there to hold him because I can't stand him. Either. No one's asked a question. Anyhow. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, I can see him again. I remember when you said something. Yeah, I want to go blonde, but... Yeah, just sit here and tell her, because I'm just going to... Um, let me just tell Bella quickly, though, because I just grabbed this. Uh, Bella, you was asking about um, brands. 
for drugstore band, brands for eyeshadow, the best one I've found so yes. far, above Jeffree Star, above any of the others, is the W7 ones. They are the best ones. Um, and what you tend to find is you get the matte and then you get the shimmer at the bottom. Um, the only thing is, when you get the brush, get the brush, put it in the bin and get your own brush. Um, but everything else, they're brilliant. I got a nice one in my bag. I don't know if their drugstore, but Style London does good uh, pink palettes. I don't know if their drugstore. Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell does amazing highlighters. I bleach hair when I use silver shampoo. I have no idea I what you're talking about. Don't know what you're on about, so I'm going to give Olivia a bleached hair and to use shampoo to keep the bleach in. I'll tell you what, Holly, though, if you need someone to practice on, you're very welcome. I'm happy to be a guinea pig. Can you lift it up, please? Especially if you perm in. What a perm. I might go purple. Right, I'm just going to go into some time. Yeah, you use um, silver shampoo to get rid of the orange-yellow tone. And they use purple shampoo to keep in the blonde. Becky Louise says... Oh, hello, Becky. Uh, you followed Nora on Instagram earlier. Becky. Gypsy says, Oliviana, you're recovering from your pregnancy. Yeah, uh, you're all right. We're getting there. Um, right. I'll go through my comments. So, yeah. How is Noah? Noah's all right. Easier. I'll sit him on the table. Noah. Oh, let's hear about the milk. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, okay. I'm going to. I'm just running off for a minute, but um, with the milk allergy thing with Grayson, um, we're suspecting that Noah has a milk allergy. And um, how did did you go to your GP, or was it like your healthy sister or a midwife or something? Can you make yeah. a comment? I'll log on with this. As a yeah, put him down there because he's heavy hands. Um, I, so I did. How it? Oh yeah. Mm. Come on, can you wait a second and clean the chances and pictures? Being fussy. Take the baby. Um, right, so I've done how is Noah? I remember when you said you wanted to do stuff with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I need, I did want to leave it long, but I can't because he keeps pulling at it. So I need to cut, cut it like maybe that short. And But then I do want to go blonde. So I've always wanted to go blonde. Um, Mm. Looks like Olivia, how are you coping from your pregnancy? I'm all right after the pregnancy. Um, even now, <laughs> stressful. Uh, we said hi to Becky. Lily, why did you move school? Oh, she didn't move school. She was taking out. Taking out. Try and put it. Need to click that one. Like this. Right. Yeah, and uh, she was taken out. Or both of them were taken out of school because it's just far too risky. Um, really? Right, we'll do that then, Becky, because whenever he's having milk, he's not sticking up sick. He's sticking up milk and he's getting really uncomfortable Sorry. whenever I'm giving it him. But I can't find lactose and I'd rather ask the GP for it. And he's got, yeah. wherever the milk touches him, he gets a rash. And clean it off a lot. <laughs> um, Gypsy said, oh, okay. Not that. <laughs> you should see his head. Oh, he's got so much hair now. He's going to need a man bun soon. He's a calendar month tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's what I thought because I was saying Oh, sorry, do Gypsy first. <laughs> Get distracted. Um, yeah, he was a cal he's a calendar month old tomorrow, but he's four weeks old Friday, like last Friday. So he's very old. Can you please not elbow my boob? I would greatly appreciate it. <coughs> oh. Yeah, because I remember you saying in one of your videos that you think he had it, and then you were saying the symptoms, and I was watching the video again as I was sorting him out, and I was like, same stuff he's got. Really? Yeah. Got massive feet. <laughs> yeah, big boy. But yeah. I oh, got his little phone box in yesterday, I think it was. And what was it? Yeah, he got a little pepper pig in it. 
And he hasn't taken to any comforters other than the pe- Peppa Pig one. It's quite annoying because I don't like Peppa Pig. Huh? And his grandma. Grandma's not comforter. She really is. Right. She's mental. Uh, I have to ask. No, it's fine. Um, any question, the question in the day. Um, surprised, but had lots of different emotions going on because I can't go too into it because legal stuff. But yeah. <laughs> Um, oh no. yeah I think I was happy eventually but it was very worrying at first how many weeks were you into pregnancy did you find out you were pregnant um, I'm not actually sure because I think I was a few weeks further on than they thought like the hospital thought I was so on my 12 week scan I was. they said I was 12 weeks and then that changed and I think I'm further, I was further along than they thought I was so, I don't know. Oh, the GP. That's it. Really? Oh. You're going to keep switching it up? No. Um, it's depending on which GP we get in our practice, it's like they'll pie you off of anything. Are you going to keep spitting it out or are you going to keep it? Hi, Leah. Oh, that was a nice smile. I'm in, I'm in. He's having a moon. Yeah, well, I'm going to call the GP tomorrow. Did you answer Becky? Yeah, which you said, yeah, honestly, tell the GP that you think he has it. Yeah. Yeah. I love being a mum. It's at night, even when you have to wake up for a bottle at like three o'clock in the morning, it's like, it just smiles at you and you're like, oh, cute. <laughs> Not when you're shouting at you, though. I still like him then, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> Still like him, he just does my head in. So, yeah, he got a sausage roll. Oh, you heard him mummy. Oh, he's a sausage roll because he it's a silly sausage. <laughs> and he rolls himself. He goes on bright adventures. Don't yeah. <laughs> so right mummy. Cool. Yeah. I know, I think I've known you since you're in primary school. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> did I carry on with what you were saying? You kind of stopped talking. Yeah, I think I've known you, Gypsy, since you were literally... Well, you're Lily's age, so I've known you for quite a while. Come on. He is, he's getting well adorable. Mm-hmm. The doctor tried saying to us that he that it was something. What's like oil? Oil item. Oil item is um, uh, eczema bath. Well, we've we already tried that, so yeah, we tried the eczema stuff because it did look like eczema oh. to be like well, your sausage roll. Um, yeah, because we thought it was eczema to begin with, but then it won't go away. Yeah. Oh. Oh, go this way, idiot. What's the matter with you? Right. Me again. Hi. He's always massive. Look, I'll show you him. It's huge. No, he's not shouting. No work. Yeah, big boy. Come in here. Massive. Excuse me. He likes the light. Uh, Becky yeah. says, yeah, we thought it was eczema, eczema as well. And at first, as that's... But yeah. it doesn't go. No, it doesn't go. Um, it's definitely a milk allergy. Yeah. It's just... Um, I'm getting to do this. Yeah, so we'll, we'll speak to him tomorrow anyway. Um, but the midwife's coming tomorrow. Mm. So if she doesn't end up coming, then we'll speak to the GP. Um but like his chin, I don't know if you showed his chin, but he's, he's, you can't, you can't see really it. see it very well. But on his chin, it's like really, really red. Mm. And um, it's, it's, no matter how much I've it, it's the way. Yeah, it's, it's definitely 
it's definitely an allergy. So, um, see, I said, I said it'd be cruel to belly on me, he'll start rolling or try and push himself up. I know because you're a big boy. <laughs> Is that what? Uh, yeah, you're a big boy. So, the idea really of coming on was just to. <laughs> Whatever you've just trashed in my room, can you pick it up, please? I didn't. I kicked. So the idea, really, of coming on was just to say hi and see how you all are, really. Um, yeah, that was it. Mm. Um, I'm glad I got some more ideas for stuff you want on videos. How does it feel to be a nan? Um, Numbered. I feel old. <laughs> no, it's it's great. It is. It's really good. It's. It. You know what? It, Obviously, because there's like loads of kids live here anyway, it's great having it's like a busy house anyway. But having a smaller person here and somebody that's like having a new baby, it just brings life into your home again. So it's so lovely. And you just took down the floor again. There's no more cleaning. Just thrown his dummy on the floor and he's like looking at Olivia like it's her fault. So, There's no more clean ones. Anyway, we're going to give it like two more minutes and then we're going to head off to, because you've got jobs to do. Yeah. Uh, Grayson was really bad around his chin. Yeah, it's, it's, um, uh -oh. I don't know if we can get, come here. Oh, <laughs> mister. Oh, mister. So on his chin. Come here. Turn this ring um, light off. Here. Here. Oh, here. It's really sore here. It's definitely metal. Yeah. Holly said she'll bleach your hair after this lockdown. Oh, and then I'll get you the products you need to maintain it. Cool. Thanks, Holly. Uh -huh. I don't trust myself with bleach my hair. No, I'm not mean. Me well, I oh, think that thank you. is time. To giggle. I think that is our cue. Give you your baby because he's making a noise. <laughs> and I think that is our cue to get going. Um, because, yeah. No, he doesn't want to. He's, he's tired and he wants his bath. So. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to get going. Um, it was really nice to come on and chit-chat with everyone. I didn't realise we've been on for like a whole hour. Um, but it's nice to just come on and chit-chat. And if anybody needs to chat or anything, mm. feel free. Also signs and... Oh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. He's um, drawing his legs up. He's um, he's got reflux anyway, but he's he's definitely, definitely... Stay there. It's the milk all day long, definitely. Um, so we're going to... We'll get that sorted tomorrow. Um, and pick him up some different stuff and then obviously just compare how he does with him. And it's really obvious once he does well on the other one that, he's, that that's the problem. Um, but he does have his bowel scan um, very soon anyway uh -huh. to see how his bowel's doing because obviously when she was pregnant there was the problem with his bowel. So there is always a chance that it could be that rather than the milk. So, you know, we, we've just got to... Yeah, do you follow any of us on anything, Gypsy? Yeah, she does. Yeah, I think. Oh, no, uh, I think she follows us on Instagram. Yeah, what I'll do is I will post when, I, when I'm going to bring another one on. Like when I'm going to do live again, I will um, post on the other social medias to say that we're going to do a live. I should be doing that anyway because I'm really working hard to get some more subscribers. Um, so I should be doing that anyway. Um, but I'm just really rubbish at it, so I'm going to remember to actually do it. Um, because yeah, I'm, I'm I really want to work hard and get in the um, subscribe. My brain died. I want to work really hard on getting the subscribe account up, so as um, you know, we can we can make the channel work. So I, I will have to start posting across other social media platforms. And stuff. So I will definitely give everybody more notice. We'll also remember to do those videos, Bella. Um, and I've actually just written it down as well so as I don't forget to do them. Um, and we're going to head off and do Noah's bath. And Olivia has got washing up to do because she might be a mum, but she still has jobs to do now. Still living. Yeah, you still live here, so you still got jobs to do. 
Willoughby's got her jobs to do. I've got my jobs to do. I'm about to have a hot flush, can we tell? Yay for menopause. Yay for um, menopause. So menopause is happening right this second, which is crazy. Um, and, yeah, so we will see you in the next video. The next video to be uploaded is Noah's four-week um, update. And then after that, it will be the makeup video for Bella. Um, and then it, videos, yeah. it will probably, after that, be us going and looking for this train again. Because I'm dying to go and find that bloody train. It might take you this time. Yeah. Um, Maybe. So we will see you next time. Thank you for coming and watching. And uh, see you later. Goodbye. Bye. You're going to say bye. You're not going to say bye. Bye. bye.